Quick tip number two for today. When you're not able to be consistent with the habit and you get that anxiety feeling, for example, um, you want to do uh, you know, 60 minutes of workout every single day and then you start doing that and eventually it gets hard for you. And now you stop doing it and every time you try, you have that anxious feeling like, oh, it's too much, I don't know if I can do it and then you just don't do it. Or you experience apathy, which is basically the opposite side of it and you're like, uh, I don't know, I don't want to do it, blah, 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 and just forget about doing, that, doing it, but it's still on your goals list. What you want to do is lower the bar, lower the bar as much as needed until you're able to do it without that anxiety, without effort, without thinking about it. You want to lower it to a point where it's like, uh, okay, so not 60 minutes, so it's like, oh, uh, five minutes of working out? Yeah, sure, I, I can do that, that's no problem. Okay, bam, like that's your new criteria because it's more important to be consistent than it is to just have the habit. Again, it's the cycles of action, completing cycles of action. I talk about it a lot and I just made a video about it. I called it the reason you don't have the motivation. You always lose motivation when you try things and you start things. So make sure you complete cycles of action. Again, if something is too hard, lower the criteria and then do that. And you can always go more, but lower the bar, the minimum for how much you need to do. And that will make sure that you continue the cycle and you actually keep growing and growing and you love it, you'll get accomplishments and it will only grow and get better from that point. But don't lose this, the consistency, don't lose the streak. Do that and you'll be successful.